Hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Okay, so I want to show you something, and this is based on could an abduction happen? All right, now having said that, I've got to say, in my opinion, that if she was taken by someone, that it was planned. <clears throat> I don't believe it was random and just based on the inconsistencies of Dawn and Candace from day one, the lack of emotion, the lack of urgency when it comes to finding Summer makes me feel like they knew from the beginning that she might not be coming home. I mean, we have to remember the first interview that Dawn did is he's... We'll see her in the resurrection. And that was right after she went missing. Why would you have that certainty that she wasn't coming home? He knew right away that she was abducted. Candace has not cried and not been, in my opinion, a mother who ha is desperately searching for her daughter. Okay, having said that, <clears throat> I'm going to show you a couple things that I thought was interesting. So, the blue line at the top is Beach Creek Road. The light-colored road through the trees is Simpson Road. Now, that Simpson Road comes off of Ben Hill Road. I'm going to zoom this out so that you can see a little bit better. I'm going to be going in and out a bit, okay? So here you see Simpson Road. This is the end of Simpson Road. And like I said, it comes off of Ben Hill Road. All right, I'm going to zoom it out a little more. As you see here, this road up at the top, that is Beach Creek Road. Just to the right coming towards you, you see Ben Hill Road, and you see the uh, gray teardrop to your left. That is 110 Ben Hill Road. Okay, that is where Dawn and Candace lives. Okay, so if you go down Ben Hill Road, and you see the uh, red teardrop, if you take a right, that is Simpson Road. Okay, so what I want you to notice, if you go all the way to the end of Simpson Road, you will see it looks like a little cactus at the end down near Ben Hill. I mean, Beach Creek, sorry. All right, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to show you something. To the right, you'll see that like pale white streak, right? Okay, just to the left, you will notice there are trails. There are two. It almost makes a Y. There is a road that comes straight down and then it Ys. You can see them plainly and that goes to Beach Creek Road. Now, could a car, and I'm telling you absolutely, in my opinion, a vehicle could pull off of Beach Creek Road down either one of these trails and park a vehicle at the end of Simpson Road. Now, the thing is, if someone did that, then they would be passing the homes on Simpson Road, and it would be noticeable. Now, even if Dawn or Candace drove down that road, I would think they would notice that they don't live on that road and would wonder why they were down there. But we did hear Candace say that she went driving around, allegedly, to look for Summer. But there was two hours missing. Could she have driven down Simpson Road and met someone at the end of that road? It's possible. If a stranger had gone and parked down there and walked down Simpson Road to the Wells property, I feel sure that in that type of area, which I live in a, t a type of area like that, not like the drugs and stuff, but I mean, just like 
the country. Like, you know who and who doesn't belong on on our road. Um, we know that. So, if someone was walking down my road, I would notice. So, could a stranger have parked down there, walked down Simpson Road to the Wells property, grabbed Summer, carried her back down to the end of Simpson Road and got in their car and went on their way. Well, it's possible, I guess. You know, people on Ben Hill Road would notice a vehicle pulling up on that road, I can assure you. There's people down at the very end of the road that can see both down Ben Hill Road, almost um, to the Wells driveway, pretty close, pretty close, and down Beach Creek. So I feel like <clears throat> if someone had parked on Beach Creek or Ben Hill Road to get summer, that would be highly noticeable. But if someone parked at the end of Simpson Road, the only problem they would have is getting past all the homes that were in the area. So if we look at an abduction theory, it can't be a stranger, in my opinion, because they would have to be aware of <clears throat> those sort of trail back roads to Simpson Road if they took that route. Now, if they went down Ben Hill, they would stick out like a sore thumb. And the side of the Wells property that is on Beach Creek is so steep that it would be impossible for someone to climb that, grab summer, and go back down towards that shed. Plus, they would have to go through kind of a swampy-like area and cross a creek in order to get to that shed. So, and if they parked their car there, it would be so easy to spot. If you leave Donna Candace's, their house is to the far left, right near that little green teardrop thing. So, and you take a right onto Beach Creek. It takes 2.2 miles to get to the red dot. <clears throat> that is light hauler. Now, I won't throw names out right now, but there is someone that lives on that road that has been arrested for having child pornography, lots of drugs, and lots of violence has happened on that road. All right, now I want to zoom in and show you something like I did on off of Ben Hill. And I would like to point out that in between the red dot and Dawn and Candace's house, right in between is where Andy lives. If you will notice where the arrow is, that is the very end of Light Holler. Now the little arrow that you're, you're seeing here is actually a home that's on Ben Hill Road. Now, light holler, you'll see the gray line to the upper right, and you can tell that it's not a very far distance from each other. Now, to me, <clears throat> in looking at this, it looks as though there is maybe a logging trail or something like that. I don't know if you see what I see, but now I'm going to draw this back out. Now, we know that after Summer went missing, that there were people out on horses. So, it's quite possible that there is a trail from the end of Light Holler to Ben Hill Road. Okay, the arrow to the left is another house that is on Ben Hill Road. And then you see again here the end of Light Holler. You might be asking, why is she showing me all this, right? Okay, so I'm basing this on the abduction theory. 
different ways that you could come in. If you went down, all the way down, light holler, and you could jump across uh, over to Dawn and Candace's house. But again, I just want to point out, in order to know these trails, you have to be familiar with the area, for one. And you would have to be familiar with the Wells property because it is definitely not a property that you would just stumble upon. So someone's familiar with the property. Some of these people in the area have been to Dawn and Candace's house that have these offenses on them. And I want to point out again all the inconsistencies, the lack of emotion, and the acceptance that she was gone from the right right from the beginning and it doesn't make sense to me and it doesn't sit well with me uh don't know if it was planned um but there are a couple different avenues to get to their house and i just thought that was interesting so i will let leave y'all with that and i hope y'all have a good evening and i will talk to you soon